and they came in with their truck with kegs and they were able to get all their kegs filled up. Mm. Even the manager could not, they could not stop them. They asked the manager himself to fill up the kegs. No, they paid actually. They paid. And after doing what they wanted to do, and they zoomed off. So looking at how it is, because uh, they, so sometimes they, okay, they say since the day of John the Baptist, mm. the kingdom of God suffered violence, and mm. now the violence has to take it by force. By force. So they sort mm. of, so it mm. means people are now doing everything mm. they can just to ensure that this thing doesn't go beyond the present situation at the moment. You know, a, a, a bike man was sharing his experience like um, two days ago. He said that okay, buying at him. Um, highest prices it's not even what is really concerned about mm. but at the end of the day some of this fall you know when it has been dispensed into the tank some of them uh, the, the guy was saying that okay he bought the the, the price of uh, of oil at um, 800 naira per liter at the end of the day his engine got knocked yes adulterated fuel you know that's another that's another angle to it how can you if, you, if you, if you have value, if you have quality for what you, for, for what to buy, it is, it is something. But for you not to get value to what you buy, but get quality to what you buy, it's a How can you buy as high as 800 naira per liter, 1,000 naira per liter, and at the end of the day, it is adulterated. Go up now, they will consider how important that place is. If it is not work, then they would rather stay at home because nobody's ready to check. You check from from God knows where to God knows where. So it is really, really affecting everyone. That's our discussion this morning, the economic implications of lingering petrol scarcity. What is your own take on these? 0803-437-9453 and 0815-032-0226. Petrol on one hand, prices of right, food. So on another, on another hand, you know, want to kill, you should want to kill Nigerians. <laughs> the whole thing coming together at the same time. And I trust Nigerians. We'll just beg God to give us the spirit, to give us the strength to carry on, despite all odds. We just have to keep moving. We just have to keep going. Someday it will get better. Zero eight zero three four three seven nine four five three and zero eight one five. Zero three two zero two two six. Not a power one. It's one hour good TV. Two day increase to work. Not a power one. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good to have you, Even at 1,000 naira, was that a queue? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 